This is the story of Little Black Sambo. Once there was a fun time there was the Little Black Boy. And so his name was Little Black Sambo. And his mother? Was called Black Mambo. And his father was called Black Sambo. And Black Mambo made him a beautiful coat on his hair. Little blue trousers. And Black Dumbo went to the sun, but uh, blue toe shoes and crimson soles and crimson windings. And beautiful umbrella. With a little black sambo grand. I was fine clothes and went on the walk on the jungle. And by and by he met a tiger. And that said to him, I'm going to eat you up. And the little black sambo, please don't eat me up, and I'll give you your beautiful coat. And the tiger said, very well. I won't eat you this time. But you must. Give me my beautiful coat. So the tiger got the little black sambo coat. And one night away, and the got a tiger in a jungle. And by and by, he met another tiger and that said to him, I'm going to eat you up. And little black sambo said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up and I will give you beautiful trousers. Very well, I won't eat you this time, but you must give me your beautiful little trousers and run away, saying, And I got the tiger in the jungle. And Little Black Sambo went on, and by and by he met... He's another tiger that said to him, I'm going to eat you up. And Little Black Sambo said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. And I'll give you your beautiful shoes, crimson and soles and windings. But the tiger said, How I can carry so I. You could run on your ears. A little black sambo, so I could say the tiger. That's a very good idea. Very good idea. Give them to me. And I won't eat you this time. So the tiger got four little black sambos. They were purple shoes. And crimson toes and crimson winding. And went away saying. And the grandma's tiger and a dingo. And by and by, he met another duck said to him, Little Black Sambo, I'm going to eat you up. And Little Black Sambo said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. And I'll give you my ring and bell. But the tiger said, How I can carry an umbrella when I need all my pads for walking? You could. Tie an on your tail, said Little Black Sambo. So I could, said the tiger. That's a very good idea. So he got poor Little Black Sambo's beautiful green umbrella and went away saying, I'm going to take your net and go. And poor Little Black Sambo went away crying because the cruel tiger had taken all his fine clothes. And suddenly he heard horrible no, it sounded like girl, girl, girl. Oh dear, said the little black sambo. All the tigers are going back to eat me up. What shall I do? Quickly ran to the palm tree and peeked around it. And what was the matter? And there he saw all the tigers fighting and disputing which one was the grandest and they got so angry and they took all the fine girls off and he carried turtle with their claws and biting turtle with their great big teeth and they came rolling and tumbling right to the foot of the tree where Will Wax Amber was hiding but he jumped quickly behind the umbrella and the tigers got hold of the tiger tails as they wrinkled and scrambled. And so they found themselves in the 
ring around the tree. Then while the tigers were wrangling and scrambling, little black sambo jumped up and called out, Oh, tigers! Why taking all your fine clothes? Don't you want up anymore? But the tigers only answered, Grrr. Then little black sambo said, If you want them, Say so, I will take them away. Tigers want what go with the tigers' tails. See only Sambo put all his fine clothes and walked off. And the tigers were very, very angry. So they would walk away and tear their tails. And they were so angry and that they around a the tree trying to eat the tutter up. And they ran faster, faster, faster till they were whirling around so fast that they could couldn't see their legs at all. And they still ran faster and faster till they all melted away. There was nothing left but a great big pool of butter. Or ghee as it is called in India around about the foot of the tree. Now Black Jumbo was just coming home from his work with a, a great big brass pot in his arms. And when he saw what was left of the tigers, he said, Oh, what lovely melted butter. I'll take that home to Black Mumbo to cook with. So he put it all in a great big brass pot and took it home to Black Mumbo to cook with. And when Black Mumbo saw the melted butter, wasn't she pleased? Now we'll have pancakes and butter for once. Now she got powder and eggs and flour, butter and sugar. And she made a huge plate of the most lovely pancakes. And she fried them in the melted butter which the tigers had made. And they were yellow and brown as little tigers. And then they all sat down to supper. Mumbo ate 27 pancakes, and Black Jumbo ate 55, but Little Black Sambo ate 169, because he was so hungry. The end. I love you, Grandma. I hope you enjoy my story. It's my favorite story.